Hey Lux here. I just wanted to upload this short demonstration of the new drill since there are no timer blocks or anything. So I'm going to go on the remote menu and control this. I'm going to start by using 2 and 3 on my keyboard, turning those hinge locks off if they're on. Then I want to press 1, which will begin unfolding the drill head from the piston block. Once that's about halfway, I'm going to press 4, which is going to start opening up the drill head. From there, I'm going to hit the 5 and 6 piston options. This will start extending the stand as well as the tip of the drill head will be extended out from this. After this, the next step is going to be folding out the drill. So that's going to be number 7. Those are the hinges that are going to turn the stand 90 degrees. And I don't believe I have the drills on this hotbar yet, so let me go ahead and put those on real quick. Go ahead and turn all of the drills on while that's going. The clearance on this is kind of close. You may, If you paste it in, you may want to put it on top of just a couple light armor blocks to give it an extra block of height. Uh, and then the only two things left are going to be the rotation rotor and the depth pistons. So that's fully extended. Retracting it is pretty much just as easy. I'll go ahead and just mash all the buttons in reverse order and get it folding. And we'll take a look at this one next to it that's extended. All right, so that's folding up. Now, if you're gonna be taking it out uh, it's important to get the drill head itself lined up. We'll go over here and take a look at one that's just been going for a little while so you can see that it does work. <laughs> There's not going to be any radio signal down here so I'm going to have to go back up to control it. The main thing you want to do here is open the rotation rotor and you want to set the upper limit at 90 degrees. You can see it's climbing in degrees so you want to set that at 90 and it'll stop that drill head in the position that it's meant to be in. Alright, so now that that's stopped, we want to go to our depth pistons. Well, first we should turn the rotor off and remove our limit. Don't forget to do that. Then you want to go to your depth pistons and you can reverse them. I would recommend changing the speed so it doesn't take as long. I could drop all three decimals off. You could do just two if you want. You can see it's it's pretty slow like that, so if you take that last decimal point off, it just takes a minute to get back up here. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know to be able to use this. Really like the hinges so far, I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff with them, but if you've got any critique, advice, ideas, or just want to say hi, go ahead and drop down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys like it.